Lights up. A small, sterile interview room. There is one door and no windows. The strip lighting illuminates a single table and two chairs. Richard and Violet stand facing each other across the table. Dick. I'm sorry? Dick. No, I heard you the first time. Oh God, sorry, yeah. Dick, Dick, I'm Dick. My name, it, it, it's Dick. Right. I thought you were Richard. For official purposes, yes, but everybody calls me Dick. Okay. If it's all right with you, I'm still gonna call you Richard. Sure, of course, whatever's easiest. Shall we, uh... I doubt it'd be long. All oh, right. Okay. You want something to eat? We can say no to a tequila. I don't think this can go ahead if you're inebriated. I'm joking. Right, right. Sorry. Obviously. So, do you... I don't recognize you. Are you on my staff? No. That's not how this works. I'm not in politics. I didn't work for you. I actually didn't even vote for you. Okay. Not to rub it in. Just you should know. I won't hold Almost half the country didn't vote for me. The smart half. And you're entitled to that opinion. But I would defend my voters' intelligence. Good answer. Not the first time I've had to use it. I can imagine. So, you obviously know what I do. What about you? I'm working on the cure for cancer. What? Joking, again. Oh, right. Sorry, again. I'm a cleaner. And do you, do you enjoy cleaning? Yeah, it's all right. Good. It was hard to, um, uh, sorry, I, I don't want to make you feel, it was kind of hard to plan ahead, knowing this phone call might come any day. Work just didn't seem that important. Right. But yeah, I, I like cleaning. So you didn't vote for me? No. All right. I just kind of thought... What? No, I mean, just looking at you. Looking at me? I can usually tell which way someone votes. <laughs> Spend as long as the, on the campaign trail as I do, and you get good at guessing. What would you guess about me? I'm not sure that no, I... come on. Okay. Well, uh, the three things that show which way a person will vote tend to be location, education, faith. Now, I guess you're not from around here, but you're in a city, either from birth or a really young age. I guess you're not college educated, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because of why you're here, but I guess you're a churchgoer. My, my grandma was Irish originally. Irish Catholic. Right. But I don't go anymore. Well, it's not an exact science. Clearly. So you're Irish? I'm American. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I'm Italian, you know? Well, kind of. You speak any Italian? No. You speak any Irish? No. Well, we're definitely Americans then. Yeah. Even the British usually bother to learn a, a bit of something else. <laughs> are the British... Um, are they... Yeah, like, are they, you know... Oh, right, uh, involved. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that remains to be seen. Okay. I mean, I guess everyone's gonna be, one way or another. 
Yeah, I guess so. So we're striking first then. I'm not sure I'm supposed to talk to you about this. Well, Washington isn't a smoking heat right now, so it hasn't been that hard to figure out. Yes, we're striking first. So we have time. I mean, we don't have. No, but I mean, the city isn't at risk. Not immediately, anyway. No. Okay. Good. Do you have family in the... Sorry, sorry. Never mind. I never thought we would. Would what? Be the first. When I thought about... When I, when I thought about what this would be like, I always thought it would be retaliating. Well, we're not. Okay. I mean, it, it's not like we're... There are, there are reasons. Good. I, I'm not at liberty to explain this to you. Okay. Our hand has been forced. Very much. And did I think we'd be here in my... No, I, I did not. But we are. And it's my job. It's my duty to, to rise to the occasion. Okay. You're very monosyllabic. Okay is two syllables. I just mean you're very, you're very it, it, it's part of your... Training, yeah. Okay. Hey, how come, how about we ban okay? We ban it. Yeah, yeah, just for the next, however long we ban the word okay. I thought you ran a freedom of speech platform. And I am free to say that I think we should ban okay. You are free to disagree. Okay. All right, then. I agree. We ban okay. We ban okay. So, how does this, how does it work? I thought you would know. No. They've not told me anything since I arrived. Well, that makes two of us. I think we just have to wait here till one of the agents briefs us. How long do we have? Not long, considering how time sensitive this is. We won't have long. I don't know exactly. I thought you were the man in charge. I'm the man at the front of the charge. Not sure I'm the man in charge. It's your name that's going to be on it, though. In the history books, articles, it's, it's going to be you that did it. I know. But, but that's what I signed up for. If it goes well, I get the glory. If it goes badly, it's an all or nothing kind of thing. In what world can this go well? You know, you said earlier you didn't vote for me? Yeah. Well, I did vote for you. For this. When I was in the Senate, I voted to approve this program. I know. It seemed logical at the time. Moral, even. Moral? Yeah. The ultimate deterrent. I mean, the idea had been around since the 80s. Since before I was born. Yeah, I guess so. And Robert Fisher, he was this incredible academic, a conflict negotiator. And he said that the president had the responsibility to look at someone and realize what death is. Blood on, on the, the White House carpet. It's reality bought home. Sorry, of course, you, you know this. Yeah. It was kind of required reading. It's Roger, by the way. What? Roger Fisher, not Robert. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I, I really think that it... I'm sure. Right. Oh, okay, sure. Roger, then. I, I just... What I meant was... What I meant was that the Oval Office needed to be reminded is what I'm trying to say, to be, to be forced to engage with the consequences of its actions, be aware of the ripple effect. Personal responsibility. Exactly. Anyone who chooses to, to, 
push the button. They need to understand what it is they're doing. I know. I mean, after the last guy. I know. It was the second term, the re-election. I mean, no one thought. <laughs> so I, I get it. I get why it passed. I, I get why you voted for it. Well, right now, I wish I hadn't. Me too. But when I voted on it, when I voted for it, I... You did it for the right reasons. I did. We did. We really did. All right. Okay. Damn. It was your rule. You know, it's not actually a button. What? It's not a button. It's a briefcase with a set of instructions in it. Oh. Yeah. Make sure you read the instructions properly. I will. That's what they all say. But the codes. At the first set on this little, it's like an electronic card. Right. And you have the second set. A card? Like a credit card. Yeah, but it's actually... What? It's actually called the biscuit. The what? The card I carry around. It's called the biscuit. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. One president lost it, you know. The biscuit? Yeah. They lost the biscuit? Yeah, for months. Didn't tell anyone. Holy shit. Who? I probably shouldn't say. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Clinton. It was Clinton. Wow. Yeah. Why? Well, I don't think he was trying to lose it. No, no, I mean, why is it called? Oh, oh why is it called the biscuit? Yeah. I don't know. I never asked. We'll find out. I will. So, what's it like? Can... It's a nightmare at airports, but other than that, it doesn't really affect anything. You're allowed to fly. Yeah, I have to live a totally normal life, anonymous and unaffected by my responsibility. If I start getting treated different, like start being protected by the Secret Service or whatever, pe people might notice. So. so so, what happens at airports? What, what, when the metal detector goes off? The peacemaker would be. Uh, clever. Thanks. Well, I can't really take credit for it. <laughs> I didn't get much say over where they put you them. You must have had them in for... Four years. You've had them in for longer than I've been president. I was hoping to have them in for a lot longer. Sorry, that was unprofessional. I, I don't think you're supposed to. I know, sorry. You're not meant to try and persuade me I either know way. Not. You're supposed to be impartial. I know. That just, it just came out. Sorry. So how did it... How did they find you? How did you... How did it work? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't... No one's ever really explained the process. It seems so unlikely we'd ever get here. Okay, well... Jesus, sorry. It, it just feels like really weird explaining this to you. Do you know what I mean? I, I know. If you'd rather not talk... Well, no, about it. you should know. Um... So they put out a call, a national call for volunteers, nothing specific, just generic, do something great for your country kind of stuff. But I mean, who's going to reply to an ad like that, you know, probably wiped out like 80% of the population. But not you. Not me, no. So I replied to the ad and then there were interviews, psychological screenings, medical tests. At each level, they told you a bit more about what you'd volunteered for. Like they were rewarding you for making it to the next round by letting you in on a few more secrets. Um, 
you got kind of addictive. I thought you weren't meant to have addictive tendencies. You'd be at risk from manipulation. The lowest scores in the country for addictive traits, compulsion, and impulsive behaviors. Ironic, really. How so? You have a file on me, right? File? Yeah, like a men in black, beige looking file with top secret stamped on the front. Uh, uh, no, actually, I, I've never seen a file on you. Oh, right. Ironic? Huh? You said it was ironic, how? Oh yeah, um, my, my mom's a heroin addict. All right. Yeah. Don't know what that means in terms of, I guess I miss the addict genes. So where did you, who, who? Raised me? Yeah. My grandma, scariest lady you've ever met. You've never met the first lady. Fair point, probably never will know. Sorry. This is just, this is different from the simulations I did. I, I'm not trying to change your mind. I, I know what my job is. I just, it's I different. I know. It's okay. So are they? What? Nothing. No, what, what, what is it? Your, your wife and kids, are they? Down here too? Yeah. Yeah, they are. How do you decide? Decide what? Who makes the cut? There are rules. Close family and, and people who are part of the chain of command. What about, like, your mom? What? Or your dad? Do they count? My parents live in Long Island. So? So they're not here. They're not in the White House. So they don't make the cut? Well, it's not about... They're just not here. They're in... Long Island, yeah. So they don't know? No, they don't know. Are you going to tell them before? No, I don't think so. Why? Well, there won't be time. You're still sat here talking to me. Yeah, well, that's not my choice. I, I think they're setting up the... We just have to wait till everything's ready. You could call them now. Well, I'm not going to. Why not? Because I don't... I don't want to speak to my mother, all right? You guys aren't close? No, we are. That's the prop. Look, you know what? They're asleep. I don't want to wake them. Okay. What's Long Island like? You've never been? Nope. You ever been to New York? Nope. Yeah, well, Long Island is crowded. But, you know, it's home. Washington's not home. No, no, of course it is. Of course it is. Home for you. Here. Well, not like here, here. Not this building, obviously. But Washington. Really? Yeah. You're not from, like, like they haven't moved you here? No, I was already here. Born and bred. Chances. Well, considering the whole do something great for your country adverts, probably quite high. Right. You're Washington born, so being a patriot's in your blood. I like that. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I meant because the main testing center was here in the city. The ads for it were everywhere. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So what were the te tests like? Intense. Physical, emotional, intellectual. Intellectual? Mm. Do you truly comprehend what you're doing? Do you have a full and complete understanding of your responsibility? Do you know where your heart is? Stuff like that. How long were you tested for? I was screened for three and a half years. Wow. Well, they can't just whack the codes into anyone. My first round, one girl got rejected because she thought her heart was basically where your stomach is. Jesus Christ. Yeah. She voted for you. Ah, oh, come on.
How much longer do you think we have? I think we have an hour in total. Where did you get that from? I've been trying to remember since you walked in. I think I got a briefing when I took office. Must be two years ago now. You remember what they said? To be honest, I wasn't really listening. I was picking the colours for the Oval Office the same day, and the colours seemed more important than a nuclear war that was never going to happen. Interior decor is a big call. How are you so calm? I trained for years for this, to be able to deal with what I'm feeling right now. It's my job to be calm. Yeah, well, I haven't had any training at all. I can tell. Aren't you a bit... a bit... What? A bit young? The lower limit was 18. Not 21? I, I thought it was 21. The, the original bill it was, but in the amended version that eventually passed, they lowered it to 18. Apparently this is less of a big deal than drinking. Right. The limit was 18 to 30. 30 seems low. It would be a bit of a drag to implant them and then have the volunteer drop dead of a heart attack within 10 years. They don't want to waste the money on having a revolving door of volunteers. So the younger the better. We last longer. How old were you? 22. Why? Why did I say yes? Yeah. I'm a patriot? You don't sound sure. It was the right thing to do. Okay. You don't sound sure. I just don't... I can't imagine... You can't imagine yourself doing it, so you can't imagine why anyone else would do it either. I think you're very brave. And you think you're not? I think... I think I have my limits. And this is one of them. Yeah. Volunteering, doing what you're doing. This would be one of them. Even if it's the right thing to do. Like I say, I have my limits. Don't you? Of course I do. Then why are you here? I was chosen. Wait, I, I thought you were a volunteer. Yes, well, I volunteered at first, but then I was chosen. Out of every single person that they could have had, I got the highest scores. My combination of personality traits, education, IQ, whatever, it may be the perfect candidate. I was the best. And it's hard, hard to walk away from being the best. And you should know. And it was the right thing to do. And it was the right thing to do. What do your family think about it? I'm not really supposed to. Yeah, yeah, of course. So partial, remember, you thinking about my family could cloud your judgment, so we can't talk about it. But your grandma, your mom. I'm allowed to tell you about them. Why? They're both dead. All right, Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, they died a long time ago. I, I'm still sorry. And it's still okay. I love Katy Perry. Okay. Sorry. Just, you should. I've never told anyone that before. Right. I, I just felt like I should share something. And the darkest secret you had was Katy Perry. I really love her. I'm getting that. You know, we had a whole event at the White House with loads of different musicians and like some unbelievable people with her, like Mick Jagger and Elton John, absolute legends. And I just spent the whole time trying to work out how to introduce myself to Katy Perry. You're the president of the United States. I know. You have Air Force One. I know. But baby, she's a firework. Oh, wow. She's a teenage dream. Are you only speaking in Katy Perry lyrics now? She's the one that got away. That's tragic. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. <laughs>
Welcome. Seems odd that you know everything about me and I know nothing about you. I'm allowed to tell you certain things. You just haven't been asking the right questions. Like what? I'm not allowed to volunteer information. You've been volunteering information the whole time. I haven't said anything that wasn't a reply to a direct question you asked. Really? Really. You've been monitoring our conversation? It's my job. Job, yeah, so you keep saying. So what exactly are the rules here? Do you know things that I don't? I know what the training sessions have taught me. Which was what? How to remain impartial, to not bias your decision either way, to leave my own politics at the door. Now, one of the first things you did was tell me you didn't vote for me. Because you asked if I worked in your staff. A no would have been sufficient. Okay, maybe that was unprofessional. Sorry. Yeah, so why you? I always thought, when I voted on it, I always thought it would be a, a soldier, someone who was a, a civilian. Is had to be a civilian. That was the one of the clauses in the bill. Why? When the strike happens, it won't just kill soldiers. It's green lighting a civilian attack. So the volunteer had to be a civilian. So what am I allowed to ask? Anything to which the answer won't affect your ability to go through with it. That won't affect my ability to kill you. No, let's start talking. Let's start calling it for what it is, huh? At the end of this hour, I have to remove the codes. I have to. And if I can't even say it, how the hell am I supposed to? Yes, to get the codes, you have to kill me. This is just fucking... Ask me a question. Fucking insane, it's just... Ask me a question. What? I said ask me a question. How will I know if you're even allowed to answer it? You'll have to ask and find ask out. Ask you what? Anything. What's your favorite color? Blue, ask another. What are you trying to... Ask another. What's your favorite food? Pizza, you? Pizza. Another. What's your favorite film? Million Dollar Baby. What's yours? Twelve Angry Men. Another. What's your favorite animal? Bunny. You? The American Eagle. Oh, please. Oh, fine. Dolphins, probably. What's your favorite band? The White Stripes. You? Katy Perry. Katy Perry's not a band. Katy Perry. Next question. What's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. What? I'm a purist. You're boring. So my daughters keep telling me. <laughs> this is part of your job too, isn't it? What is? Keeping me calm. Keeping me sane. You've been trained to do that too, haven't you? Yes. Okay. One last question. Shoot. What's your name? It's Violet. Nice to meet you, Violet. It's nice to meet you too, Richard. So, your daughters give you a lot of shit then? It's like they don't care at all that I'm president. Not at all. Yeah, teenage girls are professionalized by everything. I remember. According to them, Eloise and I have done nothing cool since the early 2000s. She seems nice. You're a wife. She is. Eloise, she, she is. She's very shiny. Yeah, I know what you mean. You've been together since like the dawn of time, right? Yeah, yeah. somewhere in the Mesozoic era. The what? Never mind. How did you meet? Yale. So she's smart. Much smarter than me. You love her? Well, that's personal. It's not like I'm gonna get to tell anyone. Yes, I love her. Cool. 
She's fucking my campaign manager. Cool. Does he look like you? He's a she, so no. I don't know. You have quite feminine eyebrows. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you married? No. I just assumed you were from the, the ring. It's my grandma's. Only finger it fits on. You could wear it on the other hand. Yeah, but then men I don't like would still hit on me, so. So thank you, Grandpa. Yeah. She's still looking out for me, even from beyond the grave. Always was a control freak. You have to ask. Really? Yeah, you have to ask. Can I sit? Sure. So are you divorced or just sensible? Sensible. Good for you. Thanks. You never... I'm only 26. Right, right. But no, not yet. No. Eloise and I, we were 24. Can you believe that? 24. I mean, that, that's too young. To... Am I what you, you know? What? Am I what you expected? Uh, I mean, obviously you're not, you're not what I was expecting. Yeah, you thought I'd be a, a soldier. Yeah, and, and taller and also a man. Why? I'm not sure, I, I just assumed. Well, I assumed the same about you. That I'd be a man? That you'd be taller. Oh, right. Really? Yeah, I thought you were like really tall. Well, I am quite tall. Yeah, yeah, but I thought you were really tall, like good at basketball tall. Well, I am good at basketball. Like 6'5". I thought you were like 6'5", okay? Okay. Yeah, that is really tall. I know. It's because I look good in the lineup. The what? Why do you... Th why tall? I mean, I know why you think I'm tall. Why? Well, taller than I am. Taller than you are. It's the rest of the world leaders. They're tiny. I'm joking. No, seriously. They're all really short. At all the photo ops, they make me look like a giant. Which ones? Pretty much all of them. Except... Spain. Yeah, yeah, Spain. Now she's huge. All the others are minuscule. So weird. I know. I've always wondered why that is, but it's not like I can ask. Everyone know. No one can talk about. It. Maybe it's the Napoleon complex. They all have it. What about me then? Well, you've got no excuse. I'm just a tall asshole. Oh, I don't know. The worst of all the options. You're all right. Am I? Yeah, I think so. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, two vasts and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that it sculpted well those passions red, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand of the, the heart that fed. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings look on my works ye mighty and despair nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck boundless and bare the lone and level sands stretch far away
It's Shelley. <laughs> so? I, I think it's very, you know, it's, it's relevant. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. I just... It just felt like the book. It was a moment that that was the right moment. Poetry, wow. Poetry can be, it can be very elucidating. Elucidating. Yeah, it can reveal. I don't know what elucidating means. Okay, well, I think poetry elucidates. I think you elucidate. What? I'm sorry, I sorry, I don't. I'm just. I'm really tired. Yeah, me too. Sorry. No, it's fine. No, really. No, it's fine. It's, it's just people don't usually, it's fine. It's really nice, your, you know, your poem. It's really nice. At, at times when I'm, I don't know, when, when I'm having to make certain decisions, it helps. So you memorize it. Some people say Hail Mary's. I cite Sally. Okay, well, when you say it like that. No, no, I, I didn't mean. Hey, whatever helps. Helps. I guess I find it comforting. King of Kings. Nothing besides remains. That's not comforting. Why not? Because it's just, it's not. Nothing you do really matters. It'll all get washed away. Well, not everything. If you wait long enough, everything. So what? Life is just pointless? Life is pointless. But that doesn't have to mean it's meaningless. Life is pointless, but not meaningless. Yeah. Did you learn that at Yale? So what if I did? Well, I'm just surprised you can still remember it. I'm not that old. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. I wonder who the traveler was. Who? The traveler. The one who actually saw the statue. I wonder how she got out of the desert. What? No, nothing. I'm just... I'm wondering that now, too. So if life's pointless, why kids? To give it meaning. Your life was meaningless before them? No, 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 it's just after... It's hard to explain. You'll understand when you have... It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. I actually never wanted them, kid. Never? I always found them kind of annoying, even when I was one. You didn't like school then? Well, I was fine. It was better than home. Yeah, mom. Only till I was like seven, then it was grandma's. She adopted you. It wasn't really that uh, formal. My mom just dropped me off at her flat one day and so she could babysit and she just didn't pick me up. I see. Yeah. So, I don't know. I wasn't surprised. Neither of us were. Grandma and I, I, I don't think, maybe I'm making this up, but I don't think we ever actually spoke about it about the fact that my mom wasn't coming back. We both just re realized over the next couple of days and thought, yeah, that's about right. And I lived with her for the next 11 years. The only time we really talked about it was like a week after mom dropped me off it and grandma took me around to our old place to pick up all my stuff. And it was all gone. I guess mom sold it. And that was it. Your grandma sounds impressive. Yeah, maybe she was. More than anything, though, I think she was decent. She was just a decent person. Yeah. It's weird. I can't really match up the fact that my grandma who raised me was also the mother that raised my mom. 
Like, how did that, how, how did she let that, I don't know, maybe grandma got kinder, she got older, or maybe she got meaner. Either way, whoever she was when she raised my mom, I don't think that that's the same lady that raised me. I got lucky. Lucky? Yeah. Right. How long do you think it's been? No idea. Don't you wear a watch? No point. I have seven people whose job it is to get me places on time. Wow. Yeah. Almost seems rude to still insist on wearing one. Like I'm saying they can't do their jobs properly. They wouldn't think that. I'm the president. Everything I do is analyzed. Everything has to have a reason. And if there isn't one, people just make it up. Sounds exhausting. I've learned not to think about it. You wear a watch? I'm 26. So? So I own a phone. So, no. No. Where's your phone? It's back at my flat. Your flat? Yeah. They picked you up from home? It was two o'clock in the morning. Where else would I be? Right. Yeah, yeah, right. And they didn't just let you bring your phone? No, I just, I just left. I just left it. What, what would be the point? Yeah. It felt weird walking out of there with nothing. For a minute in the car, I panicked because I didn't have my keys in my back pocket. I was like, shit, where are they? I'll need to get them back and get back in. Stupid. I haven't had the keys to my own place in years. Yeah, I guess not. It's actually going to be weird going back to having them. Having to remember stuff before I leave the house. Keys, wallet, whatever. I think I'm going to spend a lot of my time after the presidency being locked out. You'll get really good at shimmer shimmying up the water pipe. Do I look like a shimmier to you? I think you'd be surprised. I had to break into my own car one time. Really? Yeah. Had to jimmy it open. Did it work? Yeah. I got back in. Wow. I mean, I smashed the window in the process, but that's what meant I was able to... Back in? Yeah. Right? You want to play a game? What? Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey. Look, this is so not the right moment. No, okay. to, no I, I literally can't. What, what is wrong with me? That is so sad. This is it. What? Nothing. <laughs> Let's play a game. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's play a game. I just thought, you know. Yeah. Past the time. In a car. Yeah. Okay. I spy. We might struggle. Yeah. Twenty questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We wanna. I got one. Okay. Go for it. I'll count. Are you real? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. Are you female? Yeah. Are you a singer? Yes. Are you Katy Perry? I'd never make it that easy. Miley Cyrus? Damn! My turn. Okay. Okay, are you real? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. Are you a man? Yep. Are you a singer? Not professionally, no. Are you an actor? Kind of. Okay. Are you in entertainment? Definitely not. Are you an author? No. Oh. 13 questions left. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, are, are you American? Yes. Are you young? No. Okay. An old American man who isn't entertaining. Yep, you're getting there. 
Are you married to someone famous? Uh, yeah, kind of. Do you have a couple name? Actually, that's weird. I don't think I do. Don't know why. What am I on? Uh, you've got nine left. Shit! Shitting shit! Wow. <laughs> Sorry. No, go for it. Uh, are you an athlete? Definitely not. Eight left. Are you like a, a, a presenter? Do you, do you have your own show? No, nope. seven. Oh, are you black? No. Damn. Sorry, six left. Are you white? Yep, five. Are you a journalist? Not at all. That's four. Ooh, uh, one of those uh, influencer Instagram thingies. Judging by that question. I would say no. no. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Get it together, Richard. You're an old, unathletic, white American man who doesn't entertain, has never written anything, can't sing, can kind of act, and you have a famous wife. Oh, or, or, or husband. Wife. That's two. Oh, come on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. One guest left. Oh, no, no, th th this is too much pressure. I believe in you. Oh, my God, I've got it. Yeah? Yeah. You're Joe Biden, huh? You are, aren't you? God, I hate that guy. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, still got it. I'm undefeated at 20 questions. Never lost a game. What a champion. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks. Eloise could learn a thing or two. I'm sure Eloise knows what she's doing. She always does. Am I the only person who knows about the campaign manager? I guess you can kind of tell me anything right now. I guess so. I mean, you already know about the Katy Perry's, so. So your secrets are clearly safe with me. Clearly. I pee in the shower. Same. Doesn't it go everywhere? Doesn't yours? Yeah, fair point. Every time I go for dinner with a friend, I lie and say that it's our anniversary, so we get free stuff. Does that work? Every single time. Free drinks, free cake, the works. I can't believe I've never thought of that. I know, right? Sometimes I fart in important meetings just to see if I can get away with it. Awesome. There was this one lady who I used to clean for. She was awful. Never paid me what she owed me. Treated me like crap. And one day she wound me up so bad that I spat on her toothbrush. Oh my God! But I felt so much better. I hate puppies. Puppies? Yeah, puppies. I mean, dogs I understand. Oh no, I don't mind dogs. I hate puppies specifically. So useless. Just sitting around looking cute, waiting for predators. You could say that about babies. Yeah, well, I'm not keen on them either. You don't like babies. I, I, I said keen. Keen. Um, huh? You've had like five of them. Yeah, and I missed. I missed most of it. The baby bit. Yeah, the baby bit. Do you have a favorite kid? Wow. No, but do you? No, obviously not. That's definitely a lie. It's not. I could never pick a favorite. We have a least, which one? It's not that he's my... He? Jesus. Which son is it? We're not talking about this. I know which one it is. How? Because in all the photos of them, 
This one definitely looks like a bit of a- Hey, that's my kid. Yeah, you're thinking of the right one. I knew it. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Only child. Same. I know. Yeah. I think that's why I wanted a big family. So they wouldn't be lonely. Yeah. Makes sense. Means more babies though. Tell me about it. Look, I can't help it. I don't like puppies and I don't like babies. Huh? It sounds like you've never really tried either. You make it sound like they're a delicacy. Puppy gelato. Baby fricassee. Oh my God, there better not be any cameras in here. How much of your life do you spend thinking about that? Pretty much all of it. That sucks. Yeah. Could you do it differently? Do what? If you knew what it would be like, what would happen? If you could do it again, would you still run? Yes. Would you? Would I run for president again? Well, you know what I mean. Is there anything you'd do different? Honestly? Yeah. I wish I'd spent less time in school. Is that bad? It doesn't sound great. No, but seriously, I just think like the number of hours I spent watching the clock, wishing time would pass faster. I, I actually wanted time to speed up. And right now that seems, I was always trying to move on to the next thing. You know, like the week started and I couldn't wait for Friday. And then Friday came, but I couldn't wait for Christmas break. And then Christmas break came and I couldn't wait for summer. And then I couldn't wait to be 16, to be 21, to be an adult. I spent so much of my time wishing that the future was nearer. Like when I get there, whenever there is, I'll be calmer. I'll be happier, in better shape. I'll have more time to read. I'll somehow become a morning person. All that stuff that magic, that'll magically happen when I get there to that point in my future. But, but then the point kept moving. The future stayed, you know, in the future. And now I'm just like, what was I rushing toward? Why did I think the present was so boring? God, I spent so much time being so bored of everything. Everything except the future. The future's perfect and in it I'm perfect because it's not real. But the second that it becomes now, it becomes real. So it can't be perfect anymore. And I start watching the clock again. Good thing there are no clocks in here. Somehow I don't think I'd have a problem tonight. No, I guess not. No. How long do you think it's been? Does it matter? Maybe not. I, I just wish I knew. How much longer we have? Yeah. Feeling this in the dark? It's not a feeling I'm used to. It's not something I enjoy. But you know how it, like, you know what you have to do, right? Yes. I'm sorry. For what? But it has to be so, so. I'm sorry that it has to be a knife. I know what I am volunteered for. I could ask if they, if maybe, if maybe we could do it differently. You already know the answer to that. But maybe if I asked. It doesn't make a difference. The law is the law. And the rules are the rules. Yeah. Are you? Will you be... Will I be... Conscious? Will you be conscious? Yes. Jesus fucking... Richard. Don't tell me to ask you a fucking question. Okay. That's not gonna work this time. Okay. This is too much. It's too much. Okay. Stop saying okay! This is not okay! And then my idols walk next to me. I look up at them.
they fade away. It's a destruction of a mystery. The more I listen to what they say. So does that mean that there's no more doing and there's no more thinking and there's no more feeling because there's no right opinion. So can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Is that Seamus Heaney? It's Jack White. The White Stripes. Yeah. It's very elucidating. I know. Your idols fade away. Destruction of a mystery. No one is infallible, unshakable. It's okay not to be certain. I'd be scared if you were. So can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? You already know. Well, what if I don't want to? Then everyone stands down. The strike doesn't happen. But we have to. We have to. Nothing besides remains. I guess she just walked. Who? The traveler. You got out of the desert. I guess she just walked. I guess so. Can I ask you something? You haven't needed my permission before. I know, but okay. Did you ever try to change your mind? Did you ever want them removed? No. Okay. Okay then. Do you have any questions for me? I mean, I already know your favorite ice cream. Like, what I more mean, is there? real questions. Yeah. Okay. One. Shoot. How do you become president? Just fill in a form. Must be a long form. Long, long form. You have no idea. Seriously. 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 Private school, Yale, law firm, sensible marriage, pretend you're being forced to run by the state you find your country in, House of Representatives, Senate, good timing, children, president. Sounds easy. It kind of was. Yale was easy? I mean, none of it was, it was technically difficult. But it was never unimaginable. At every stage, the next stage seemed within reach. School to Yale, okay. Yale to the law firm, fine. Law firm to politics, obviously. Just kind of went like that. Hurdle after hurdle, brick after brick. It's not like I left high school and became president. Every stage felt like I was ready for it, like I was meant to do it. What? What do you, what did I say? What did I? Nothing. Violet? Said it's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Stop it, Richard. No, what is it? I'm not supposed to talk about... About what? What did I do? The fact that you don't even know what you just... Well, tell me then! Fine! You wanna know? You wanna know what a fucking idiot I am? I've only just realized that you becoming president was easier for you than getting to college was for me. The leap between my high school and college was vast. It was a fucking chasm! All that work, all that... And why? What was the point? Getting to college was fucking Everest for me. Being president of the United States is just your latest hurdle. My resume usually kills at fundraisers. This isn't a fucking fundraiser. This is starting to feel political. My policy- Doesn't it? I'm better at my job than that. Well, what if you're not? 
You think I'm breaking the rules? Maybe. Or maybe I just don't like you yelling at me. Yeah, maybe. Are we even following the rules anymore? Yes, of course we... Of course we are. Of course we are. Sorry. Me too. There is a loud buzz, an intercom. Mr. President and Volunteer A, it is time to make your way to Process Room B. A loud buzz. I repeat, Mr. President and Volunteer A, it is time to make your way to Process Room B. It's time. We have to go. Yeah. You want me to go first? No. Okay. You want to go? No, no, no. Violet. No, I'm not doing this. No, I can't. No. What do you mean? I, I, I don't. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. But the training, you. Not the training. The training was real. The training. What? No, I'm not you doing it. No, back I can't. Out. That's not how this works. I don't want to do it. You have to. I have a son. I can't know that. He's Michael. Violet, he's stop. And he's talking, but he's so bad at it. He keeps running into things you like. You can't like, tell like, me this, Violet. Bar handles, and every time I ask him what his I favorite color is, any of this. I think he's not saying banana is a color, and I don't have the heart to tell him it isn't. Violet, please don't. Because he realizes he isn't. It really freaks him out. And he's named, he's named Michael Stop. because Grandma was Michael because Michelle, and he was the closest I could get. I can't hear this. I'm not meant to be emotionally compromised. You already are. You were the second you asked my name. And I have a baby waiting for me. So please don't. Don't. You don't have to. It's only you and me in here. No one out there ever needs to know you. You back down. You, just, just let me go. Please. They'll know. It'll leak. Won't. From who? I'll, I'll never tell anyone. Anyone. Ever. Just, just let me go. It's not just you and me down here, Violet. It's not just about us. You can stop this, Richard, please. You're the only person who can. I don't want to get reelected. He's three. He's three. His name is Michael, and he's three, and he's waiting for me. Please don't. I'm begging you, Richard. Please, please, please. Lights down. The white stripes play. <clears throat> Snippets of news broadcasts about the threat of nuclear war. Lights back up. Agent Hannigan enters and moves the chair back chairs back under the table, returning the room to exactly as it was. Richard enters the room having completely changed his clothes. He's in a grey tracksuit with an Air Force One logo on it. His hair is wet from the shower. Richard sits down at the table. Agent Hannigan hands Richard an electronic tablet. Here you are, Mr. President. Thank you. You already have the first set of codes in your possession. Yes. And the second set are now on there. Okay. Your passcode for the tablet is 796382. And then the instructions are clear from there. When you're ready with both sets of codes, we have the briefcase set up for you in process room C. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Will there be anything else? No. Very good, sir. Actually, yes. Why sir? is it called? Sir? Mr. President? Why is what called? Nothing. Nothing stupid. Very good, sir. If that's all, I'll be right outside. Wait. Sir? Hannigan, is it? Yes, sir. Agent Hannigan. I don't understand, Agent Hannigan. Sir? 
How did you get these onto here so quickly? I, I couldn't see them. When I, I couldn't see them. Where were they? How did you? We just needed to know that you could do it, sir. We didn't actually need you to do it. We couldn't let a civilian around with the codes inside her, sir. Security risk would be unquantifiable. So they were? No, sir. They were never implanted in her heart. We just needed you to think they were. The test wouldn't work otherwise. The test? For the program to be effective, you had to believe that the volunteer needed to die in order for us to access the codes. Violet. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Will that be all, sir? This is a time-sensitive issue. Yes, yes, Agent Hannigan. That's all. Did she know? Sir? Did she know she didn't have the codes? Did, did, did she you know it was a... We needed the begging to be real. Get out. Sir? He exits, taking only the codes with blackout.